Hello everyone, hi, welcome to the stream. Oh, it looks so dark in here. There's a real problem with the lights because today it is very sunny. So if I open the curtain, um, it's okay. I'm just a bit hot, so I might um, unbutton my shirt. Hello, Jakob. Hello, Pavel. Hello, Katarzyna. If you are watching, write hello in the comments. Hello, Nguyen. Hello, Vale. Um, oh my god, I love this shirt. This shirt has, um, we call these sequins, and these are reversible sequins, so they they go up and down and they change colour. It's so much fun. It's really fun. So, yeah, good shirt to have. I'll just be, I will play with my shirt all stream. <laughs> okay, hello Tristan. Hello Oscar Caluzzi. Great to see you again. Hello Maverick1981, Polly12, Jakub, Juan. Hello everyone. How are you all? Thank you, Polly. The th uh, hopefully the sound is good. I have my good microphone here. Um, hello, Stefano from Milan, or from Milan, Italy. Lovely. Hello, Anastasia, Sukaina. Wow, loads of people today. Okay. I'm just going to um, take off my shirt. <laughs> it's a bit warm. It's actually very warm today um, for England. It's warm. Okay, how are you all? How are you doing? Tell me where you are, what country, what city, and tell me how you are doing. I myself am doing, yeah, pretty good. Um, I'm a bit sad because it's really nice and warm and sunny. Outside it's like 23 degrees, which is actually summer weather here um so to be inside is quite frustrating and uh we have these lovely big windows in our house uh which are great but also it gets very hot in here so i have a little clock here a digital clock and it has a thermometer so it tells me the temperature and inside, right now, it is 28 degrees, so it is hot. And of course, in England, we don't actually have air conditioning in our houses, usually, because usually in England, it's not that hot, so we don't need air conditioning. So I am just very hot. Actually, I have a little USB fan here. I'll just show you this. This is like a air conditioning if you can't afford air conditioning. It's cheap air conditioning. So you put water here in the top and then you plug it into your computer and um, it gives you a bit of cool air. So I think I'm just going to plug that in because I'm really hot today. So just give me a moment. So sorry, it will be a bit... Um, noisy a bit loud but um oh well it's small but it helps okay if the fan is really really loud just say and i can turn it off okay so you have all been sending in wonderful comments so um wow we have someone vale from argentina Sokaina from Morocco, Luca from Bergamo, Italy, Ha from Vietnam, um, Quang, I think is also from Vietnam, Anastasia from Moscow, okay, or Moscow, you can say it either way. Um, oh, someone from Iraq, and it's cold and raining in Iraq, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Tristan from France, Tour near Paris, so I guess it's Tristan. Um, Jakob from Brazil, Worth a Wound from Germany, hello, I recognize you. Mahur from Iran, lovely. Uh, Jakob from the Czech Republic, or Czechia, as some people say. Uh, 
Elena from Kiev, lovely. Uh, Rita <laughs> says it's the air spirit from uh, the Tempest. Do you mean like the Shakespeare play, The Tempest? Maybe. Um, yes, Kwang, Kwang, you really love Doggo and Kitty stories. I remember you talked about it last time as well. Fantastic. We have Dina from Cairo, Egypt. Fantastic, lovely. Uh, Danielle from Slovakia. Hey, Danielle, how are you doing? Brenna from Brazil. Pavel from Warsaw, Poland. Okay. Uh, Oscar Lopez from Mexico, from Mexico. Uh, Rosa from Rimini, Rimini, Italy. And Lucille from France. Wow, okay. I think this is the most people we have had. This is a lot of people today. So thank you all for coming. I'm really excited about today's stream. Um, as usual, the stream is going to be very relaxed. So we're going to just talk a bit. Um, we're going to write a little story and I'm going to tell you a bit about my video game that I've been playing, Animal Crossing. Um, so Juan is in Bogota, Colombia, where it is seven o'clock in the morning. Wow, okay. Uh, Serkan from Turkey uh fantastic oh by the way remember oh we're gonna do questions and answers at the end as well i almost forgot um so if you have any questions that you want to ask me about language learning about my life about the podcast about writing about british culture whatever it is we will do some questions and answers at the end of the class. So if you save your questions until then, and you can ask me your questions and I can answer them. Okay. Um, hello, Inna from Milan. Hello, Huang from Thailand. Lovely. Um, Mahua. Well, okay, this is an easy question. So I'll, ask, I'll answer it now. Uh, I am 26 years old. Although my birthday is on the 5th of May, so that is just under a month. Um, so for my birthday, I mean, I can't have a party, can I? Maybe, I think I might do a special live stream for my birthday. Maybe I'll get drunk in a live stream for my birthday. I don't know. So yes, I will be 27 very soon. Um, Malik, hello from Egypt. Uh, hello, Gulnaz from Russia. Elena from Tel Aviv. Hi, Elena. Recognize you again. Um, okay, Dina, I'm going to add your question to my document here and I'll answer that at the end. So Dina was asking, how can I make interesting podcasts like you? Okay, so um, one question I want to ask all of you is, um, and I'm just going to share my screen so that I can, you can see what I'm writing uh, when, yes, okay. So let's put this down a bit. Let's turn this off, okay. So I wanna start with just a little question for all of you. And this is something, you know, right now we're in quarantine, we're inside all the time all we have is our family or our pets and the plants that live in our house or maybe maybe you can talk to your stuffed animals uh, but there's there's not a lot of variety in life at the moment so something I want to ask all of you is what is something fun something fun you are going to do after quarantine ends so when the quarantine ends and you can go outside and you can go on a holiday and do all those things, what's something nice that you are going to do? Personally, I am going to go to a restaurant, okay? I'm going to go to a restaurant with my friends. There is a lovely restaurant in my city. It's an Asian restaurant and they do Chinese, Japanese, Thai, Malaysian, they do all kinds of Asian food. 
and it's really really good and I miss the food I really really want to have that food again so after quarantine ends I think we will go and have a big meal we will have a feast a really big meal okay I'm hungry just thinking about it and I just ate pizza and ice cream so I should not be hungry <laughs> okay hello Cesare from Poland um, yes Mahur I am a Taurus so uh, my star sign or zodiac is Taurus so the zodiac is uh, depending on when you are born in the year it's like your sign so astrology so I am a Taurus I am the bull okay and Mahor is also a Taurus okay um, Anastasia says she is going to go travel I think that is it also a fantastic idea there is a conference that I was going to go to in France this summer and I don't know if it is going to happen now I really hope it happens because it was very fun last year we will see okay Cesare says play card games well Cesare you can play card games at home right I just saying uh, Sukaina is going to visit uh, sorry I think it's a female name uh, is going to visit her father lovely that's really important yeah to look after our family as well uh, Agnieszka is going to the swimming pool very good get some exercise get some water Oscar is going to eat pizza Oscar can you not eat pizza at home or do you mean I guess I guess in Italy like you eat like good pizza because I ate pizza today but I mean it was frozen pizza so you take it out of the freezer and you put it in the oven and I'm sure for Italian people it is very bad pizza but I like it so yeah um, Gulnath is going to go camping that's a really fun idea as well Vale is going to visit her family Rosa wants to ride her motorbike that's fun yeah that's good just be careful Rosa um, Mahu is going to hike in the mountains or go to the jungle do you have jungles in um, Morocco that sounds exciting as well oh my god okay Cesare says uh, his sign is Aquarius okay so this is another star sign um, another zodiac in other languages it's like the water man or the water woman but in English we call it Aquarius actually in English we use Latin names for all the star signs so the star signs are like Leo, Cancer, Capricorn, Sagittarius um, Taurus, Pisces, Pisces is the fish uh, and so on so it's very different to other languages okay um, Elena is going to continue to learn horse riding Elena I am very scared of horses I do not like them so my mother is very very um, allergic to horses so if she goes near a horse she has she gets a, a rash so a rash is when your skin goes red and bumpy bumpy like buh, 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 buh. so when my mother goes near a horse she gets a rash and she has to go to hospital so when i was a child we never went near horses so i have never touched a horse i have never ridden a horse never so horses scare me because they are so big and powerful oh no i couldn't um, but it's good that you're learning to ride horses um stefano is going to go for the mountains go to the mountains to walk for a bit lucille is going to the mediterranean sea and eat some and get, she's going to eat some ice cream with her husband and her boy her little boy how lovely lucille oh the problem with I didn't go to, 
I'm at, I actually don't live that far from the sea, but I don't go to the beach very much because the beaches near where I live, they're kind of, um, the, the sand is not nice. It's very like, like slimy sand. So it's not very nice. Um, okay. Ha asks, uh, do I have any problems with speed in real life? Uh, do you have any problems with speed in real life because you speak slowly on the podcast? That's a really great question, huh? I'm going to answer that at the end. Um, there is a very good reason why I talk very slowly on the podcast and I will explain that. Okay. Um, Polly is getting married after the quarantine ends. Wow, Polly. Oh, has it been difficult? Because, I mean, I, I can imagine you were planning your wedding and now this is happening. It's probably very frustrating for you. Actually, the other day I was in the park just before they shut a lot of things here. Uh, I saw people getting married in the park near my house. So, uh, <laughs> Okay, the Italians are criticizing my pizza. Yes, that's fine. Um, yeah, pizza from the pizzeria is the best, of course. Uh, Barbara likes my accent. Oh, sorry, Barbara, can I just say I love your name? Barbara Sponerova. Sponerova is just a lovely name. I love Czech and Slovak names. They're just something. Like, I was watching a, a film. Uh... And there was like a, in the credits, they say, the credits in like a film, they say like, who played what, who directed the film, who was in the film, yeah, so all of the names. And I saw a name that I loved, which was um, Pospishilova, uh, Pospis, Pospilishova, I think it was Pospilishova or Pospishilova, but I just, I love, I love those names, I just love them. Um, okay. Uh, Worth a Wound is going to go see their best friend. Very, very good thing to do. Uh, Kwang says, um, I'm going to sleep because when I sleep, I don't use the motorbike and then I don't create pollution and it's better for the environment. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, Dina is going to see her friends and get back to volunteering. That's fantastic. That's really good uh, that you volunteer. That's really good. Um, Jakob is also going to the beach. Uh, Pavel is going to the mountains to run an ultra marathon. Pavel, I can't, I probably couldn't run up the hill, let alone a half marathon, let alone a full marathon, let alone an ultra marathon. You must be very, very strong. I am impressed. Okay. Uh, yes, Rita, thank you. I, I couldn't remember, but the other signs are Aries, uh, Libra, Gemini. Okay. Um, Barbara is Aries as well. Fantastic. So it's your birthday soon, huh? Um, oh, so there are jungles. Oh, sorry, Maho, you're in Iran, right? But there are jungles in Iran. Lovely. Wow, you really have a, a diverse wildlife. That's really fantastic. Um, Pospishilova, exactly. Pospishilova, I love it. Uh, okay, Katarzyna is going to open her exhibition. Katarzyna, what kind of exhibition is that? Is that like a paintings? And are they paintings that you did yourself? Because that is really cool, if so. Um, that sounds fun. Okay. Well, you all, you all have really good plans. I think it's really important to stay positive. Okay, so it's a paint painting exhibition. That's brilliant. Um, Katarzyna. Okay. Uh, and now Cesare is asking, when is it on? Okay, maybe you can, for, you can get, you can, you can advertise your art exhibition here if you want. That's great. Um... Christina, you may be the only Virgo here. That's another sign, isn't it? Virgo. 
you know, I very, oh, Scorpio, that's, that's the other one. Scorpio is the sign that everyone hates. For, this is the thing. I really don't know a lot about Zodiac, the Zodiac, um, or astrology. Uh, so sometimes people say like, oh, that's such a Taurus thing to say, or that person is such an Aries. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. What do you, what are you saying? What is a Taurus, Taurus thing to say? I don't know. But um, I, I see a lot online, people talking about the different signs and everyone seems to hate Scorpios. I don't know what Scorpios did, but everyone hates Scorpios or at least all the people I follow, they're like, oh, Scorpio. And I'm like, what's wrong with Scorpios? What happens, you know? So yeah. Um, mm -mm -mm. Barbara wants to visit an English speaking country to test her English and then do the FCE exam. Uh, the FCE is a Cambridge English exam, right? Honestly, I should, oh, it's the B2 Cambridge exam. Okay, that's really great, uh, Barbara. I wish you the best of luck with your exams. I'm sure you'll do well because you listen to the podcast. <laughs> okay, uh, Sukaina is a Leo. I kind of wish I was a Leo because I love lions. As you know, I have lots of stuffed lions and I want to be Leo, but I'm not Leo, so that's sad. Okay. Um, so, last week, last week, it's so hard to keep track of time, isn't it? Like, I'm like, what day is it? What year is it? What month is it? What is happening? Where am I? Who am I? Oh, very confusing time to, to be alive, I think. Okay, so last week we talked a bit about Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is a video game I have been playing. Um, on Nintendo Switch. Uh, so I'll just show you this this game. It's very oh, so cute. It's such a cute, just a cute, relaxing, fun game. Okay. Um, so I talked a bit about it and I showed you some pictures. And today I have an update. So what has happened on my island over... Ooh, over this week. Sorry, I hit the microphone. Okay, so here you can see uh, there is a group of, so my character is this one here, okay? We are um, pulling uh, party poppers. So party poppers are like those, when you have a birthday party maybe, you, um, something, you pull at a party and it goes pop and sends um, confetti everywhere. So like little bits of colored paper, okay? Um, so it looks, it looks really nice, you go Pow! So here you can see that me and the other villagers, we are celebrating. And we are celebrating because it is the opening of this uh, building behind us. So this is the museum. So one of the really fun things in this game is um, you can catch insects, you can catch fish, and you can dig up, like dig, you can dig up fossils. So fossils are like the old bones of dinosaurs from millions of years ago that you find under the ground, okay? So you can dig up fossils and all of the insects, the fish and the fossils go into the museum and then you can go and look at them whenever you want. So we are celebrating because we built the museum and I am collecting all of the fish, the insects and the fossils for the museum. Unfortunately, I forgot to take a picture of the inside of the museum. 
but I will just, it looks really good. I will just um, show you, oh my goodness, on Google, I'm sure someone else, where is it? Oh, oh goodness, I closed it down, sorry. And now I'm getting some settings thing. I didn't know what's happening. One moment. Uh, okay, I'm going to ignore that. And I'm going to show you the uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons Museum. Because it looks really, really good. Okay. So this is the outside. And then... This is just a bit of what the inside looks like. What? Oh, honestly, Google Images used to be so much better. I don't like how it works now. So you can see, you can see all the butterflies. You can see sharks. Uh, obviously, you have to catch them first, but um, you can. It, it looks really, really amazing. The museum. So um, we opened the museum over the last week. Um, I also visited my friend's island. So every person who plays has an island and then you can go online and you can go to your friend's island. So this is in my friend's house or my friend's island. And you're probably thinking, what is happening here? So on the ground are these vegetables called uh, turnips, okay? So turnips is like a, a white root vegetable. So root vegetables grow under the ground. And um, in the game, turnips are kind of like uh, the stock market. So um, I don't, the stock market. How to explain the stock market? I'll show you a picture and that will ex maybe explain stock market is um, you know buy sell high low this this kind of thing this is the stock market okay uh, numbers and things so anyway turnips in Animal Crossing it's kind of like the stock market for the game so you can buy the turnips and then you wait for the price to go up or down and then you sell them so my friend bought lots of turnips and she was waiting for the price to go up so she could sell them. So this is why her house is full of turnips, okay? Um, I really wanted to steal some, but I did not because I am a good friend. Okay, here we are celebrating again because we opened Nook's Cranny, which is a little shop. So we opened a shop, that was fun. And this is the inside of my house. Uh, you can see I have uh, a whiteboard because I am a teacher, so I always have to have a whiteboard. Um, and I think it looks quite nice inside. Uh, this is, again, celebrating. We just have so many ceremonies in this town. Um, celebrating a bridge because we built a bridge, the first bridge. Um, and this monkey on the right is a new villager in town. So he is called Simon, okay? And I also have this person. Um, Puddles is another new person in town. And this is Simon. I love Simon. I think Simon is so cute. Uh, and finally, Ava uh, is another person in town and she is a chicken. Um, so I have been having a lot of fun this week with Animal Crossing. Okay, let me look at your comments. Um, mm -mm. Okay, Polly asks, do films or movies? I'm going to say films because I'm British and that's what we say. Um, can films help us to learn languages? So I will answer this at the end with the questions and answers, okay? Uh, Katarzyna uh, says that her exhibition will be in Gallery City in Wrocław uh, in June, okay? Katarzyna, if you want to send me a link, I can even put it here. Or you can put the link in the chat. Um, 
Mahua asks, do I know David Howell? I do not know David Howell. Is uh, he makes videos? Is he like, does he make videos for people learning English? So often like my students say like, oh, do you watch uh, ESL with Luke? Or do you watch like the, this person who makes videos in English? And I usually say no because I speak fluent English. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. It's not very interesting for me to watch like videos about learning English so much. Um, Christina says this game looks a bit like Planet Zoo. Yeah, it's not just for children. It's for everyone. It's very fun and relaxing. Okay. Um, Worth a wound says this game is good for learning English. I agree. But actually, the, the, the language in the game is very difficult because there are a lot of jokes, okay? Um, a lot of word play. So it maybe is quite hard unless you're at an advanced level. Um, the game is called Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'll show that again. Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, Barbara asks, do I have any pets in the game? Uh, no, because in the game, everyone is an animal, apart from you. So you can't have a pet, because that would be strange. <laughs> um, Barbara asks, do I have a cat in my home? I do not. I really want a cat, though. I love cats. Okay. Kwang. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, <laughs> write this down. Uh, so Kwang asks... Uh, can I suggest um, some good movies or shows, I guess, on Netflix? Um, and Kwang says Netflix and chill. Okay, I'm just going to explain this now, just to be clear, because I don't want you to make this mistake. Netflix and chill is a phrase we use in English. It means when you go to someone's house and you watch Netflix and then you have sex. Okay? So, um, it's like we're going to watch Netflix and have sex. Okay, so be careful. When you watch Netflix, don't say, oh, Netflix and chill. No, no, bad. Don't say that because it sounds very bad. Okay, I'm going to hide that. Uh, Polly says she, sorry, he misses my red dragon, Alejandro. Uh, I will show you to him. Alejandro, where are you? I'm here! Ugh, I'm so sleepy! Ugh, I'm tired! Well, Alejandro, you did sleep for five days. Well, I wanted to sleep for five days. Yes, Alejandro, but you slept for five days and now you are tired. Are you surprised? But sleeping makes you less tired. Yes, but no. If you sleep too much, you will be more tired. Well, I'm not a scientist, but that sounds wrong. Alejandro, you're just going to have to trust me. Okay, trust me. I know. I am the clever one. No, I am the clever one. No, you are the strong one. Okay? Fine. Do anyone do any of you have any questions for Alejandro since he is here? Um Give me your questions. I love questions about me because I am the most important person here. Well, Alejandro, maybe you should run the podcast then. If you are so great, why don't you run the podcast? No, that sounds like work. Well, it is. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Mahur says that David uh, Daniel Howell, whatever his name is, is a British YouTuber and he makes comedy videos. Mahua, I'll be honest, I don't watch very many YouTube videos now. Um, I watch more TV shows, I would say. Uh, but I have not heard of him. Um, la la la, I don't watch YouTube. 
I fly around and eat people. Well, you can't eat people now because they might have coronavirus. Bruh, nobody knows if dragons can get coronavirus, Ariel. True, but do you want to risk it? Because when you get ill, you are very, very moody. Oh, Ariel, I feel sick. I never said that. I am always strong. Okay. He's always strong. Okay. Um... Oscar loves Alejandro. Yes, Oscar, you are the best. I love Italy. Uh, the other Oscar from Mexico says, this dragon represents me. Well, Oscar, pues no, porque yo soy yo. Uh, speaking English, not Spanish. Sorry. Sorry, what I wanted to say was, I am me, not you. Find, go represent yourself. Sorry, Oscar. He's a bit rude. Okay. Juan asks, do you like your roommate, Alejandro? Oh, Ariel is so annoying. She always dances and sings. Let it go. Let it go. Watch another film. Now, it may be true that I love Frozen... It may be true that I dance along a lot in my room. It may be true that I sing very loudly, but you burn things. You burn food, you burn my clothes. You, you know what? You breathe fire and that's much worse. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I'm a better singer. No, you aren't. Okay. Um, Polly really is enjoying this conversation. Good. At least someone is enjoying it. It's really boring for me. I think I'm going to go to sleep again. Don't sleep more, honestly. So stupid. Um, Barbara asks, have I ever been to the Czech Republic? Yes, Barbara, I have been to Brno, I have been to Prague, and I really, really want to go to the Sedlets Ossuary. Um, okay, I'm gonna say goodbye to you now, Alejandro, okay? You can go and sleep if you want to. Yay! Bye, everyone! If Ariel is boring, just turn off the stream. Don't tell them that, Alejandro. Go away. Oh, honestly. Dragons are even worse than children. Okay, Maho asks, what are my favorite TV shows? I will answer that later. Um, so, I was just saying to Barbara that I really want to go to a place in Czechia called the Sedlets Ossuary. So this is, I am a very strange person. This is a cathedral, like a big church, made of bones, okay? Uh, <laughs> this is what it looks like. I, I am obsessed with this place. I really want to go. Have a look at this. So look, like the whole inside of the church is made of bones and skeletons and skulls. <gasps> I want to go there so much um, because I am strange. Uh, okay. Um, Kwang also loves Frozen. Yes, Kwang. Oh, high five. Corona high five. We'll just high five the air. Okay. Hi. There are no vowels in your name, so I'm going to say from uh, Istanbul which is not the capital of Turkey. Okay, so in the last episode of the podcast, I said, Istanbul is the capital of Turkey. It's not. I am sorry. So many people commented and said, no, it's Ankara. Ankara is the capital of Turkey. And I felt, I felt so stupid. <laughs> So yes, I'm sorry. Istanbul is not the capital of Turkey. It's Ankara. Okay, Dina asks, um, is it easy 
is it easy to make a story? Uh, and we will talk about that later. Okay, I'm going to change the language of the document because Microsoft Word always says I spell things wrong. Nah, I'm just British. I spell things differently. Microsoft. In it. Okay. Um, so, oh, I'm having so much fun today. I love these streams. I just, because I love to talk about myself. Um, as I have said on the podcast, I love the sound of my own voice. So, this is literally just an hour and a half of me talking about myself, talking, well, n not just that, also talking to you. Uh, I, I love, honestly, I love, okay, I'm going to be very emotional. I'm going to be very soppy. Soppy means overly emotional. Like, oh, I love you so much. That's soppy, okay? I'm going to be a bit soppy. I love all of you for listening to the podcast. You are so lovely. You leave really nice comments. I think I've done the podcast for like a year and a half and I think I have got maybe like three negative comments and all the other comments are positive. So you are just like the nicest, loveliest people. And you email me, and you send me stories, and you support the Patreon. Ah, oh, you're just... I love you. All of you. Okay. Soppy moment over. Now we are serious. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. No reactions. Well, maybe, maybe in a bit. Okay, we're going to do a bit of story writing, I think. Um, oops. And I, oop. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, don't get me started. If I start singing, you know what? Maybe one day I'll do a stream where I just sing and sing and dance and nothing else. For fun. Maybe. Uh, Katarzyna says I am full of positive energy. Thank you, Katarzyna. Honestly, these live streams, they give me energy. Oh, oh, we love you too. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I can't. I can't cry on the live stream. Oh, okay. Uh, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Christina wants me to sing. But I don't know what to sing. Um, maybe next time. I I have not warmed up my voice today. <laughs> Hi, Ricardo from Spain. Uh, okay, I'll sing a bit of Let It Go. Okay. <clears throat> let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Turn away and slam the door Here I am and here I'll stay Let the storm rage on The cold never bothered me anyway Okay, that was not the best but it was okay Oscar um, says a Beatles song. I'll be honest, um, I don't actually listen to the Beatles very much, but I can do like, it's been a hard day's night and I've been walking like a dog. And that's, that's all I remember. Or, um, yesterday, all my troubles feel so far away. And then I forget. Um, Christina, I made you cry. Ah, oh, well, I guess I'm just really good then. <laughs> Lucille, I do love my job. Although this is technically not my job. I also teach. But I love teaching as well. So, ah. Okay. So let's do story time. Before I start crying <laughs> on the live stream. Maybe, maybe next week that's your challenge. Is you have to make me cry. I cry very easily, to be fair. Like, I cry a lot. So, um, okay, okay, okay. So if this is your first time here, 
I will just explain how the story time works. So we are going to write a story together, okay? So here I have a deck of magical, beautiful, wonderful, spectacular, bombastic, philosophical, educational, spiritual cards, okay? And these cards all have lovely, lovely, lovely pictures on them. Okay, so I am going to draw three cards from the deck and we are going to use those cards to write a story together. Okay, so the cards will help us. We will put the images, the pictures from the cards in the story. Okay, so I will write and then I will ask for your help to fill in parts of the story. Uh, <laughs> Polly says, why don't I go to the gym and make, get some muscles? I mean, I have a bit, I like, I think I used to actually have, I think my arm muscles are actually okay. They're not big, but they, are, they exist. I have some arm muscles. Um, I could do some weights at home, to be fair. I don't know. The answer, Polly, is that I am lazy. Um, also, like, I think it differs in different countries, but here in the UK, being really muscular is not that popular. I mean, not a lot of people do, like, weight training, I would say. Um, ooh. Uh, also, of course, other kinds of strength are important, like mental strength or... Uh, I was about to say stomach strength, your diet, the food you eat, that's also important. Okay. I am shuffling the deck, shuffling the deck, and then I will take three cards. Uh, Alexander says, I'm strong and I don't need it. Thank you, Alexander. That's exactly what I want to hear. Okay. Oh, oh my God, I can't shuffle very well. I'm a disaster. Okay. So. I will draw the first card. Actually, first, I'm going to take a big drink of water. Because it is important to hydrate. Ah, refreshing. Okay. I will draw the first card. Ooh. I will drop the first card on the floor. Here it is. So it is a fairy helping a little boy, pulling him out of the jaws of a horrible monster. I love monsters. Okay, so already a good start. Okay, I will draw the second card. Ah, it is a strand of hair. So this is a st other way around. This is a... No, other way around. Yes, this is a stra... I, I can't see here, so I'm looking at the reflection. It's very confusing. This is a strand of hair in a ring, okay? I'll write these new words down, by the way, okay? So we had, what, uh, jaws of a monster and a strand of hair. Dina is also drinking water. Dina is also hydrating. Very good. Okay, I will draw the third card. I'm, not, I'm going to shuffle the deck again because I think that draw was not good enough. Okay. Okay, I have to believe in the heart of the cards, okay? Draw. Oh, yes. Oh, this is a good card. See, it was worth it. So this is a man sitting on a bench and reading a newspaper at night. And in the sky, there are all kinds of letters from the alphabet. How strange. So now... Oh, oh my goodness. 
Info Music is saying that in this card, maybe the fairy is not helping the boy. She is throwing him into the jaws of the monster. She is killing him. <gasps> An evil, a bad fairy. Ooh, okay. I like that idea a lot. Okay. And Oscar is drinking tea. That's also good. Um, it's always a bit weird drinking tea when it's hot, I find. But that's me. Okay, so I'm going to take a picture of these cards and put it in the document. So just bear with me. Just hold on for a minute while I do that. Okay. Um, oh, this is a problem, isn't it? Wait. Much better. Sorry, my desk is um, a bit dirty. Oops. Okay. Mm. Perfect. Okay. And now I will put... Oh, sorry. I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, okay, I will put this in the document. If you want to think of any questions for the questions and answers later, you can do that now. Okay, because this will take a minute. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, sorry. When I look up stuff on my computer, I just make all these noises. I'm like, ooh, ooh, up. Oh, ooh. Here we go. Okay, brilliant. Okay, here it is. Uh, so I will show you the document now and I will resize this image so we can look at it while we write if you want if you think wow this game looks really really fun I mean these cards uh, the the game that the cards are from is called Dixit D-I-X-I-T I really recommend it. It is very fun. Okay. So here we have our cards. So we're going to write and I'm going to ask for your help to add details. And we are going to try and get these pictures in the story if possible. But first I want to wait. Let me open the, open the curtain again because then I look nicer. Okay. So just a few words. We had hydrate. So hydrate is drinking uh, liquids. So that's like water, tea, lemonade, and so on. Okay, so it is important to hydrate, to drink liquids. I'm hydrating right now. Ooh, Sukaina has a really good idea for the story. We'll look at that in a minute. Okay, so Jaws. I said Jaws for this card. Your jaw is this part ah, 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 of your mouth. This is your jaw. It goes... Yeah, your jaw goes up and down. So when we say the jaws of an animal, it's like... ah, It's going to ah, eat you. Okay? Um, so the jaw is... Uh, the bone in your face that lets your mouth go up and down okay a strand of hair just means a piece of hair so this is a strand of hair okay okay we can also say a lock of hair like goldilocks okay so once upon, oh, once, come on, once upon a time, there was a young boy, okay, who, who decided to go on a journey, he decided to go traveling, um, he went to, what do you think? Where did he go? So this could be the, uh, the boy in the first picture, 
It could be him. It could be another boy, an unrelated boy. But I want to know, where is he going? Ricardo, I'm not sure what you mean by brand hair. I don't understand. Um, maybe you can explain. So where did the boy go? He went to meet a little frog. He went to the forest. I like the forest. Just interesting things happen in the forest. I think so many stories happen in the forest. And I think that's good because forests are great. He went to the moon. He went to the jungle. I think he went to the jungle. Okay. He went to the jungle to find... Blank. What did he go to find? Did he want to find... A magic ring, uh, a magic wand, a big tree uh, that he could live in. Maybe he was going to find a monster to kill it. Uh, did he want to find uh, his father? <gasps> Maybe he is an orphan. Um, what did he want to find in the jungle what did he want maybe he wanted a chocolate bar if you want chocolate you probably should not go to the jungle but maybe this boy he wants mushrooms he wants his lost hair Ooh, ooh, i like that idea i like that a lot he wants to find his lost hair okay um Oh, okay. I like this. His father. When the boy was very young, his father had cut off uh, his ponytail. So a ponytail is when you have your hair up like that. Yeah, it's a ponytail. So he, uh, his father had cut off his ponytail and... Uh, run away and run away okay so his father cut off the boy's ponytail and left and the boy didn't know why the boy didn't know why his father left or why he took his hair but he had heard that he was living in the jungle okay uh, other ideas are fantastic, but we're going to go with this one, okay? Um, the boy search through the foliage. Foliage is just a fancy word that means um, leaves and plants and stuff, like the foliage, okay? Search through the foliage for many hours. Um, but he only found animals. He did not find any people. Okay. Then he heard a voice. And now it is your turn. Whose voice was it? Who spoke? Was it his father? Was it a monster? Was it a fairy? Whose voice did he hear? Ooh, drinking so much water today, but it's good. Water is good. Okay, Alexander says an animal's voice. Any other ideas? Oh, sorry, I just, um, I feel very relaxed today. I'm very relaxed. Mm. Although, last night I slept weirdly and my neck kind of hurts here okay lucille says a witch worth a wound says a parrot um oscar says alejandro Ooh, mm. i think it's alejandro okay Uh, 
but a witch, I do like witches. Ooh, it's a hard decision to make. I'm gonna go with Alejandro, okay? Um, Hello, little boy. What are you doing here? I have to actually, okay. Doing Alejandro's voice kind of hurts my throat. So I'm going to do, I'm not really going to do his voice, okay? Because my throat hurts. Um, okay. The boy jumped Ooh. and turned around. Standing in front of him was a big red dragon who looked very frightening. Frightening, very <gasps> scary. Okay. Uh, I came here to find my father, said the boy. Are you going to eat me? Oof, I hope not. Alejandro, don't eat him. Okay, now your turn. What does uh, Alejandro say to the boy? Does he eat the boy? Does he help him find his father? Does he sing, let it go? Uh, or maybe he sings some Spanish music, I don't know. What does he say? Actually, while you think of this... Oh, Alejandro is the dragon, the red dragon from earlier. I'm just going to get more water. So you give me some ideas while I get water. <laughs> okay, Anastasia says, your father is in my stomach. Anastasia, that's mean. That's not fun. But um, it's an interesting idea. I do like that idea. So I'm like, maybe. Yes, Tristan, if uh, Alejandro eats the boy, the story will be finished. So maybe not. Mmm. Yes, Stefano, exactly. No, I can't. Ariel told me I'm not allowed to eat people anymore. Oh, good. Said the boy. Um, he didn't know who Ariel was, but he was relieved. Relieved? Like... Oh, okay. Phew. It's okay. Um, yeah, I don't think Alejandro ate his father. That would be horrible. Um, I will help you. Sorry, he sounds like Mr. Bean now. <laughs> um, but first, you need to help me. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to do the voice because it hurts. Um... I need... Okay, so Alej uh, the boy needs to help Alejandro before Alejandro can help him. What does he want to help with? Maybe he wants chocolate. Maybe he wants um, a Nintendo Switch with Animal Crossing's New Horizons. Just an idea. Hmm? Sorry, I ate a lot of ice cream earlier. Oops. Um, Alejandro has a problem with his teeth. Katajana. What a, what a fantastic idea. Okay. Uh, I have... Um, I have some seeds in... I have a seed stuck in my tooth. Stuck in my teeth. Sorry. Uh, so a seed is what you use to plant um, a tree or a flower, but you can eat certain types 
of seeds. Okay, these are seeds. So um, sometimes when you eat seeds, they get stuck in your teeth and you can't get them out. Okay. Um, oh, and I want Ariel to stop telling me what to do. Well, Well, said the boy, I don't, I don't know who Ariel is, but she sounds beautiful and intelligent. So I think you should listen to her. Oh, I don't know, this is such a good story. Um, but yes, I can help you with your tea. Okay. So, the red dragon opened his jaws wide. His mouth, uh, his mouth was even, was bigger, uh, let's say his open mouth was bigger than the boy's, boy's entire height. Yeah, so his whole height it was bigger. Okay. Um, ooh, Ricardo says the monster might be vegan. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, there was a seed stuck between two of his teeth. But the boy didn't want to touch the teeth because they were not very clean. Ugh. Alejandro, brush, brush your teeth. Honestly. Um, so he took a stick. A stick is like... In a forest, you use a st uh, you don't you use a stick. You pick up a stick. It's like a part of a tree that you can carry around. Um, that looks like this. This is a stick. Okay. So he picked. He took a stick and pulled out the seed with it. Okay. Um, Thank you. Said the dragon. Climb on my back. So, the boy rode the dragon and they flew, they flew through the jungle looking for the, for the boy's father. Suddenly, the boy saw something. What did he see? Yes, Pavel. Alejandro's mouth smelled horrible. Believe me, I know. <laughs> okay, what did the boy see? Did he see his father? Maybe he saw... And uh, maybe he saw his father on a bench reading a newspaper. And that makes it easy. He saw a village. Ooh, I like that idea. I just, I'm just thinking, I don't want this story to be super long because I want to have time at the end to do questions and answers as well. So, we'll see. Uh, he saw a tower. Oh, I love towers. Towers are just so mysterious, right? Like, you can't have, like, a tower in a story is just, oh, I loved, I'm sorry. I, I, you know what? I didn't really know until I started the podcast, but I love fairy tales, okay? I just think fairy tales are so great. Like, dragons, witches, kings, castles, mysterious towers, talking animals. Oh, I just, I love it. It's great. It's the best. Okay. Um, Vala says a community so I think you mean a village um, in English we a community really only means people uh, we talk about a village if it's where there are buildings okay um, okay boy saw something uh, it was a village uh, deep in the jungle but 
when the people saw the dragon coming, they s they started shouting and throwing things at him. Why? Why are they angry at you? Said the boy. What did you do? And what did, what did Alejandro do? What did he do to the villagers? Did he eat someone? Did Alejandro, did you eat someone? I hope not. Okay, but maybe he did eat someone. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh, and Quang says he sees the ring. Maybe, maybe he will find the ring soon. So what did the, what did Alejandro the dragon do to make the villagers angry? Maybe he insulted them, like, I spit in your face. I don't know. Um, what did he do? He sneezed and burned everything. Vale. That idea is fantastic. Yes, okay. Um... It was an accident. One day I had a big sneeze. Okay, a sneeze is when you go, achoo. That's a sneeze, okay? I had a big sneeze, achoo. And accidentally burned down all their buildings. Oh no, said the boy. Did you apologize? Apologize means say sorry. Did you say sorry? Yes. I said sorry a hundred times. But they didn't listen to me. Probably because he said sorry. Which doesn't sound like he is very sorry. Okay. Um... Let me deal with this, said the boy. He got off the dragon and went to the village. I want to talk to your leader, he said. So they took him to the mayor of the village. A mayor is um, the leader, like the king, of a town or village is the mayor okay oh here we are okay um the mayor was a tall man who looked very serious okay he had long black hair okay what do you want? He said. Okay. I want you to forgive that dragon. So forgive means someone says sorry and you say it's okay. I forgive you. Don't worry. It's okay. So this is a bit of a difficult word. But basically. When someone says sorry. You forgive them. I mean, maybe you don't forgive them. Actually, so originally, the villagers did not forgive the dragon. But the boy says, I want you to forgive that dragon. Okay? Not, he didn't, he didn't clap. He just said, I want you to forgive that dragon. Okay? Um, are you a wizard? Said the mayor. Only wizards and witches work with creatures like that. Uh, so creature is like an animal or a beast, okay? So only witches and w wizards and witches work with dragons, okay? No, I'm just a small boy looking for his father. That dragon was very nice to me. He didn't mean 
to burn down your buildings. Okay, he didn't mean to. It means it was not deliberate. It was an accident. He accidentally burned down your buildings. He didn't mean to burn down your buildings. And he said sorry a hundred times. You are looking for your father, said the mayor. Wait. I think I know where he is. Really? And now it's your turn. What does the mayor say? Where is the boy's father? Or maybe he is lying. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, Domenico. Hello, Domenico. Happy Easter. Yes, happy Easter to everyone. I can... I keep forgetting because I don't really celebrate Easter. So Easter is um, the holiday uh, when Jesus Christ comes back from the dead. He was, he died, sorry. He died and then came back. Um, uh, on Easter, people go to church. I don't go to church, but some people do. And eat chocolate eggs. I do eat chocolate eggs. Easter is tomorrow, Easter Sunday. So happy Easter, everyone, uh, if you celebrate Easter. Okay. Uh, Oscar, you gave the exact answer I was looking for. Yes. The mayor is the boy's father. That's what I was thinking. Um, but I want to see maybe some other people have different ideas Ooh. any other ideas of what the mayor says to the boy Ooh. maybe there is a curse Okay. Maybe he says the dragon ate his father and that's a lie. I think this, I, I, I'm enjoying the story, but I don't want to do like a two hour stream. So let's say, um, I am your father. Everybody gasped. Gasped. <gasps> okay. Um, what is your name? said the boy I am what is his name yeah plot twist whoa um, like in Star Wars exactly this is just like in Star Wars but better uh, <laughs> what is it I am Philip let's say okay here, here, look, here is your hair. He gave the boy the ponytail uh, that he cut off when he left. I don't understand. Why did you cut off my hair? And why did you leave us? Okay, now, what do you think? Why did the father leave? Okay. Um, maybe there was a curse. Okay. A curse is like um, evil, bad magic. Okay. So maybe there was a curse. And um, he had to leave because of a witch. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe a witch cursed him and he had to leave because of the witch and there's a magic ring or something um i don't know hopefully you have a better idea maybe a witch cursed him uh maybe he was going to get Ooh, Juan says some letters in the sky told me to do it. 
uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe he was going to. Maybe he, maybe he got lost. Uh, I don't know. Today the ideas are not really coming to me, so I'm not sure. Okay, maybe some letters in the sky told him to do it. This is a hard one. Honestly, when I am writing and I have this kind of problem, like a really difficult question in the story, I usually go for a walk and I walk around and I think about it and then I come back and I write the answer. Uh, okay, a witch doctor wanted the hair. Um, yeah, but I'm like, why did she? Oh, okay, okay, I've got it. Um, An evil wizard put a curse on me. I was dying, okay? Uh, but a witch doctor, so a witch doctor is like a witch who is a doctor, right? Like a magic doctor. A witch doctor told me she could make me better, but she needed the hair of my firstborn son. So this is a really common thing in fairy tales. Um, often, like, there's something magical about the first son that a, f a family has, the firstborn son. So let's use that idea here. Okay, so she needed the hair of my firstborn son. Okay. But why did you leave? Said the boy. Uh... Hmm. Let's say the doctor, the witch doctor's magic didn't work. Okay. If I stayed, you could have gotten ill. Sorry, this is this is feeling very um, hashtag corona <laughs> coronavirus, right? <laughs> like it's about illness. Sorry, uh, if if you if I stayed, you could have gotten ill. So if I did not leave, if I stayed, maybe the boy would get ill as well. Okay, I did it to protect you, right? I didn't want you to get ill as well. Okay, I went and lived in the jungle uh, and waited for the illness to go away. After it did, I was lost. Yeah, lost. Where am I? I don't know. Um, but I found this village and they took me in. They, yeah, hashtag stay home. <laughs> hashtag stay in the jungle. Me quedo en la jungla. Okay. Um, I found this village and they took me in. They, they accepted me. Okay. Um, okay. But didn't you try to come home? Didn't you want to come home? Your mother uh, was angry at me. She said that I abandoned you. Abandon is when you uh, leave something or someone forever. Okay. Um, I will write that down. Come on, word. Okay. When you leave a person or a place forever. Okay. So, she said that I abandoned you. Um... She didn't want me to come home. Ricardo says a very good father. Maybe that's sarcasm. I don't know. The boy started crying. Uh, let's say he says, but you're home now. Um, Philip held out 
his arms. He held out his arms. Yeah? Um, the boy started crying and hugged him. Everyone cheered. Woo! Yeah! Hooray! Okay. Um, they went out and forgave. Forgive, but the past. They forgave Alejandro for burning the buildings down. The boy lived happily with his father in the jungle. The end. Oh, that was a fun story. Okay, it was a bit crazy <laughs> at the end, but that was fun. I like that. Okay, so everyone... One minute. Hydrate. And now, give yourself and everyone else a round of applause. Very good. Okay. Fantastic. That was fun, huh? Ricardo is crying a bit. I am not. <laughs> uh, but, but I am happy that you are. Uh, okay. Fantastic. So, um, I will just go through these are the words again from the story. <laughs> okay. So, oh, and by the way, this document with the story and all the words after the live stream. The video will be on YouTube and uh, I will put a link in the video in the description to the document. Okay. Uh, Juan asks, did we use the third image? Juan, the answer is no. Okay. But that does not matter. We don't have to use all the pictures. Okay. Because sometimes it doesn't work with Oh, sorry, I really ate a lot of ice cream earlier. Uh, sometimes the images don't fit in the story. So it's fine. I think it's a good story without the third picture. Anyway. Okay. So let's do questions and answers. So I'm going to answer all of your questions now. Well, maybe as many questions as I can. So write down any questions you have for me and I will answer them now. So somebody asked, how can I make interesting podcasts like you? It really depends on what you want to podcast about. Okay. Because there are different podcast formats. So there are interview podcasts, right? Where people interview other people. There are fiction podcasts like mine. There are non-fiction podcasts, so maybe podcasts about history, science, art, and so on. Um, there are, you know, ooh, there's like business podcasts. It really depends on what you're interested in. I will be honest, before I started Easy Stories in English, um, I thought a long time about making a podcast because I knew I really wanted to make a podcast. Um, and I actually even tried some other ones, but it never really worked. Um, it didn't fit. It didn't click. Um, but when I had the idea for Easy Stories in English, it clicked. And I thought, yes, this is the podcast. This is what I should do. Okay. Uh, so I would say... When you start, if you have an idea for a podcast, try it, record a few episodes and see if it's good. And if you do like maybe five or 10 episodes and you want to keep going, that's fantastic. Okay. And then I would continue. Um, definitely don't buy expensive equipment before you start, like start with what you have. And then when you do more of the podcast, you can buy maybe a more expensive microphone such as the one I have here. Okay. To be honest though, 
uh, I would say quality of the podcast itself is more important than the microphone. You do want to have an, a decent microphone, okay? And you want to edit the audio so it sounds good. But it should, you know, the, the most important thing is that it is interesting, right? So, yeah. Okay, I hope that answers your question. If you had another question, just write it. Okay, do I have problems with speed in real life because I speak slowly on the podcast? Um, I don't have problems with speed. Actually, if anything, I normally speak really fast, okay? When I speak with my friends, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I talk really, really fast. Um, but when I started teaching, everyone said, Ariel, slow down, talk more slowly, okay? And as I learned more about teaching and more about how we learn languages, I realized that speed and clarity, so being clear, is really important. So I use actually a lot of things, okay? So I use, I use various ways to make my language easier to understand, okay? Because it's really important for you listening that if it's a beginner level podcast, that beginners can understand it, okay? Because if we don't understand it, we don't learn. That's how it works. So I, I speak slowly and clearly. I, um, I use simple vocabulary. So for example, I could say, oh, I scoffed my face on ice cream earlier. But probably if I say that, you think, what? I don't understand. If I say I ate lots of ice cream earlier, okay, you understand, right? So I don't use the vocabulary that I use when I talk to British people because uh, a lot of words are difficult, okay? So I use simple vocabulary and I explain words or, or use synonyms, okay? So I might say, it is boiling, it is really hot today, right? So to explain boiling, I say it is really hot. Um, so that's why I talk slowly. Can films help us to learn languages? Absolutely. Any input from the language, whether that's reading a book, watching a TV series, watching a film, those all help. However, I don't think, I don't think films are ideal, okay? Um, films are not ideal because, one, uh, the language used in them is often difficult uh, or slang, okay? Two, um, the voices uh, are often quiet, shouting, or there is loud music. So if you don't hear a word, it's very hard to understand, okay? And three, there isn't much dialogue, there isn't much talking in most films. And what I mean is, if you watch a two-hour film, there isn't a lot of talking. But if you watch a TV show for two hours, they're always talking, talking, talking. If you read a book for two hours, it's a lot of language, okay? So I always say the language in books and TV shows is richer. There is more variety, there is more words used. So if we compare time, like watching a two hour film versus reading for two hours, reading for two hours is much better, okay? Now, if you like films, fantastic. Watch films, enjoy them, okay? But uh, in terms of time, films are not the best method, okay? Can I suggest some good movies or shows on Netflix? To be honest, uh, when I watch stuff on Netflix, I usually watch stuff in other languages because um, like in French or Spanish, so I don't watch a lot of Netflix shows in English. And to be honest, I think a lot of shows on Netflix are okay, but not very good. Um, 
and I don't watch TV that much, so I will suggest some good British non-Netflix shows, okay? But these are shows that you can probably find on YouTube or sometimes the TV channels in the UK uh, show them for free. So I'll explain that in a bit. So um, Black Books is a very short TV show. It's only got like 20 episodes in total. It's about a bookshop run by an Irish guy who swears and drinks all the time and is very funny and very stupid, okay? Green Wing is another really good British comedy. These shows are quite old, maybe like 10 or 20 years old, but I really like them. Uh, Green Wing is a very strange comedy in a hospital. Um, Peep Show is a very, very popular British comedy. Um, a good film is Hot Fuzz. Actually, Hot, oh my God, Hot Fuzz is so funny. I think it's honestly probably one of the best British films ever made. So it's about a police officer who works in a village, a small village, but there's murders, like deaths in the village. And it's a very, very comedic and very stupid. And he has to find the killer. Um, those are the, those are my favorite ones, I would say. Okay. What are my favorite TV shows in general? Um, oh God. Like I said, I really don't watch a lot of TV. I really like RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay. Which is um, about drag. Uh, if you Google it, you can find it. Um, it's like a competition show. I really like, um, I also watch quite a bit of anime. So anime is um, Japanese animation, Japanese cartoons, okay? So my favorite anime is definitely um, Revolutionary Girl Utena. It's a fantastic show. Uh, what else? Um, this is the problem is I, I forget what shows I like like that. Um, yeah, well, those, those, <laughs> those are the two I watch the most, I guess. So, yeah, honestly, I, I, I'm more of a books person and a video games person, I think, than reading. Um, but there are some other great suggestions people have given here. Red Dwarf is a very popular science fiction show and The Big Bang Theory. Uh, Frasier is very funny. Yeah, I like Frasier. Um, I like cartoons as well, actually. I, I really like cartoons. I like uh, SpongeBob SquarePants is a classic. I think SpongeBob SquarePants. The early SpongeBob SquarePants is so funny. It's so clever. Um, Steven Universe I like as well. Um, and I guess that's it. Okay, I'll stop there. Okay, um, is it easy to make a story? Uh, this question is like, how long is a piece of string? Um, so how long is a piece of string? String is like a thread. Uh, how long is a piece of string? When someone asks you a really difficult question that there's like, there's not an answer to, you say, how long is a piece of string, right? Because a string can be long or short. So is it easy to make a story? How long is a piece of string? I don't know. Um, I would say for me now, it's not easy, but it's easier than it was in the past. It was definitely more difficult before. Writing stories is one of those things. The more you do it, the easier it is. And definitely now, um, I, so, okay, so for, for writing, uh, I would say there are three core principles for writing. So three core things that you need to write well. Uh, one is the ability to finish, 
okay? Because so many people, they start writing a book or they start writing a story and they write like three chapters and they work on those chapters, but they never finish the book. So first you have to finish it, even if it's bad, because if you finish it and it's bad, you can make it better. But if you don't finish it, you can't make it better. So one is the ability to finish. One is the ability to edit. So edit means you take the finished work and you change it to make it better. And a lot of writers, they don't like editing. Actually, I think everyone doesn't like editing. Nobody likes editing. It's very boring. You have to think a lot. You have to rewrite parts. Uh, it's, it's difficult. Right now, with short stories, I don't usually have to edit that much because I've done a lot of short stories. Um, and then the other core principle is maybe uh, knowing a bit of theory. And what I mean by theory is like, um, so story structure is a science. So the way that stories work, the way that stories are built, there is actually science to it. Um, so I, I really enjoy reading about that and it really helps you to write better. So I think it's good to study that as well. So I think if you have these core principles and you do all of these things, no, it, oh, yes, it is easy or not easy, but it's not super difficult. Okay. Um, okay. Let me go to your questions now in the comments. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I'm just catching up. Oh my God, it's going so slowly. Okay, uh, Worth a Wound asks, what fruit, what fruits do I have on my island? Okay, so this is from the video game Animal Crossing. I have uh, pears, coconuts, and one cherry tree on my island. But I want all the fruits, I love fruit. Um, Okay, Oscar says, what's the difference between I'm going to watch TV tomorrow and I'm watching watching TV tomorrow. So they both mean tomorrow I will watch TV. Um, but basically, the first one just means you will do it tomorrow, okay? Uh, and the second one means you have thought about it and planned it. So it's like maybe you put it in your calendar, yeah? Like you planned it like, can you go to the park tomorrow? No, I'm watching TV tomorrow. That's my plan, right? So I can say, um, I'm going to stay inside tomorrow. So before the quarantine, maybe I would say, I'm going to stay inside tomorrow. But now I say, I'm staying inside tomorrow because it's planned, it's settled, it's definitely happening. Okay. Sukaina says she really likes the podcasts. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Lucille says it's normal for teachers to speak more slowly. Yeah, you have to be clear so everyone can understand you. Um, Yaza says, thank you for the story. Thank you for coming, Yaza. Uh, Stefano says, is it better to use subtitles? What, um, is it better to use subtitles when watching a film or TV show in English? So we're talking about English subtitles, yeah? Um, so honest, some people, a lot of, I don't know, a lot of people have like a really strong thing. They say it's bad it's fine okay the the number one thing when you are learning the most important thing is do you understand if you understand you learn more and subtitles subtitles are just one way of helping you to understand okay so i say yes um me you might want to practice understanding fast speech, right? That's often a problem students have. They don't understand fast speech when people speak quickly. Uh, 
I would say, uh, wait until you have a very high level of understanding. Yeah, where you understand all the words in the show quite well. Um, and then turn off the subtitles, okay? Uh, basically, if you can understand 80% or more without subtitles, it's useful to turn them off. Otherwise, probably keep them on. And honestly, this number, it varies depending on the person. Some people are okay not understanding a lot, but usually it's quite boring if you don't understand. So I say use the subtitles. Oscar asks, did I make the podcast's logo? No, I just bought it online. I got someone to do it. Um, okay, so, ah, Sukaina says TEDx is also a really great, it's not really like a TV show, but you can um, watch TED Talks online. They're like subtitled and they have loads of TED Talks about different subjects. I'm sure you know TED Talks. Fa Hello, Fatih from Turkey. I believe you, um, ah, Fatih and Bushra. Yes, okay. Uh, Fatih emailed uh, and asked for a video to his girlfriend. So yes, um, I'm sorry it took me so long to send that. Okay, Vale asks, do I teach other languages? Uh, do I teach other languages? Yes, okay. So at the moment, I teach Spanish and Esperanto online. Oh my goodness, come on, come on keyboard. Uh, from September, I will be doing teacher training to, so I will be training to teach in schools in the UK to teach Spanish, French, and German, okay? Um, Ooh, Alexander asks, um, have I thought about making an FAQ? FAQ is frequently asked questions about learning English. No, but that's a fantastic idea. So I, th I think I will do that. Thank you. So I think I, uh, I might make an FAQ PDF in future, okay? So people can join the mailing list and download that. That's a great idea. Thank you, Alexander. Um, Barbara asks, can I show my normal talking speed? Okay, so I'm going to talk like I normally talk with British people in everyday life, okay? I'm going to talk about... Um, what am I going to talk about? I'm going to talk about my stuffed animals, Alejandro and uh, Takeshi. So near my house is a charity shop and it's really, so it's really hard. I have to really like, I'm, I'm so used to changing my speech for you, for all of you listeners that like, it's really hard for me to talk naturally now. So I'm going to try and talk naturally. Okay. Oh my god, so I have these really cute stuffed animals that I bought at this charity shop near my house. So I live um, in Bear Flat and there's like, uh, it's like I live on the corner and then opposite me there's a charity shop. And um, they do really cute stuff, you know, they do like jewellery and cutlery and stuff like that. But what, they, what I love that they do is they do lots of stuffed animals and like, they... They know, they know me, they clearly know me because they put the stuffed animals in the window. So you walk past, you walk past the shop and you see them and like they're staring at you and they're just saying like, take me home. And I'm like, oh my God, okay, final value. Oh my God, okay. So I bought three or four, no, three stuffed animals so far from that. And they were like four pounds each. The thing was pretty good for stuffed animals. So that's my normal talking speed. Uh, in, I'm interested to know, how much did you understand of that? Okay, um, Christina asks, what is my favorite breed of cat? So um, a breed of cat is like uh, a type of cat. So there are different types. There are different breeds of dogs as well. 
Um, I will be honest, because I never had a cat, I don't really know the different breeds. Um, I just see a cat and I'm like, oh, cute. Um, I will tell you which breed I don't like. I don't like Siamese cats, okay? Because my ex-boyfriend had a Siamese, got, he got a Siamese cat. And Siamese cats are social cats. Um, they are social cats, which means they are really loud and annoying. Oh my God. Like every day we would wake up and as soon as you woke up, the cat was outside the bedroom like meow, meow, like give me food. And then every day the cat wanted to, like always, all day wanted to play. And so you had the cat and the cat was like uh, playing with your hand, like, ah, oh, and then suddenly ah, attacking and you're like, ow, ow, get off me. And then the cat would climb on the door. So there was the, the, the door was open. The cat would climb on the top and then like, oh no, I can't get down. So I don't like Siamese cats because they're annoying. <laughs> okay, Elena says my voice and the podcast are very understandable. Thank you, Elena. Dina says she understood 50% of my fast speech. Well, that's okay because I was speaking very fast. Okay, po oh, Polly missed some of the live stream because the electricity went out. Well, don't worry, Polly. After the uh, stream finishes, it will go on YouTube as a video so you can just watch it later on YouTube. Um. Okay, Alexander understood a few words <laughs> from my speech. How many cats... Okay, Christina asks, how many cats do I want to have? How long is a piece of string? Uh, <laughs> I want to have... I think, really, I probably want one cat. Okay, at first. Because I never had a cat, so I want it to be easy to do. Um, so I think one cat, and then if if it's okay, maybe more. We'll see. Barbara asks, um, thank you for using your hands during teaching to explain stuff. Yeah, I use um, gestures. Gestures are like hand movements, okay? Uh, when you explain stuff. So a gesture is... A hand movement that has a meaning. Like this gesture is opening a book, right? So I use gestures all the time when I teach. Actually, when I sit down, it's harder because normally I like, I use my body. Like I say like the old man bent down or like she lay on the floor. Like sometimes if, <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so one time one time a student didn't know the word um didn't understand was born so i was like okay was born i was like uh, 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 to gesture to mean what being born is <laughs> okay um eduardo says it was very interesting listening to me talking at normal speed and he understood 90 percent very good eduardo um, Oscar, can I recommend music? Um, what music do I like? Uh, okay, I have, re I really just like pop music mainly. And um, show tunes, show tunes is musicals, okay? So my favorite musicals are Wicked, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, I love. Um, the Lion King, also really good. Um, okay, don't laugh. The SpongeBob SquarePants musical is actually really good. Uh, you should look it up. Okay, otherwise, I like um, English pop music. I like, and I mean English language. Okay, Carly Rae Jepsen, Marina and the Diamonds. Honestly, those are the two. I listen to the most. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I listen to a lot of Japanese music as well. Um, Juliana says thank you. Thank you for coming, Juliana. 
Elena asks, how much time a day do I spend learning foreign languages? Okay, first of all, um, I make sure it doesn't feel like studying, right? So I just read books and I watch TV shows mainly, so it doesn't feel like difficult, okay? Um, I spend between, between one and two hours a day. Actually, okay, I am really uh, geeky, nerdy. Um, so I track all of my time. So I will show you. This is a spreadsheet I have. And I write for every day. Oh God, this is so, this is so nerdy, but this is what I'm like. I write down every day what time I wake up. Okay, I haven't done meditation for a long time, as you can see. How much time I spend writing, how much time I spend preparing classes, how much time I spent reading in English, German, French, Spanish, Japanese, Chinese, or Czech, Esperanto as well. How much time I spent listening and then cleaning, because I, I, I hate cleaning, so I have to track it to make myself do it. Um, so I can look and see so far this year, I have spent this many minutes, which is um, I have spent 188 hours learning languages this year, um, which is about 100 minutes a day. So I am very geeky. That's how I know. That's how I know, right? Because I really measure it. Um, so yeah. Now that I'm saying that, I'm like, ah, oh, I do so much. Makes me feel good. Okay. Um, go away, sticks. Okay. Elena asks, do I have a podcast for learning Esperanto? No, but I have definitely thought about it. Actually, when I first started Easy Stories in English, I wanted to do easy stories in Esperanto as well and do them both but um, it's hard to find the time and right now I want to put more time into easy stories in English but I'm definitely thinking about it I think maybe I would work with someone else so get someone else to record it and then I write it maybe I don't know okay um, Lucille says she understood 90% of my normal speed, but it's hard for her to understand American accents. That's very unusual, Lucille. Most people these days understand American English much better than British English. Uh, Juan asks, uh, what was the most difficult language to learn for you? I'm going to say something a bit surprising and say French. Um, and the reason I say French is because um, in terms of grammar, like Japanese and German, for example, are definitely harder than French. But I just didn't like French when I was at school. I didn't like the class I was in. I didn't like the teachers very much. And when you don't like the environment and you don't like the teacher, it's very hard to learn well. So that was why French was difficult for me. Um, now I like French and I like French culture, but I used to be like, I used, before, I used to like, oh, I hate France. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. Sukaina asks, uh, should I learn three languages at the same time? Or can I learn three languages at the same time? Um, there's nothing stopping you. Okay. So, there's no reason not to. However... Uh, if you split your time into three, you will learn much more slowly, right? So if you learn just one language over a year, you will do three times more, right? And that's a really strong reason. Um, I usually uh, learn a language on its own until I am at intermediate level, right? After intermediate level, it's okay, you can start mixing. But at beginner level, it's better to focus a lot of time, I would say. Um, okay, Dina says, how can I uh, start learning to meditate? 
to be honest, Dina, I'm not, I'm not the person to ask, really, uh, because I don't meditate anymore. So, I did for a long time. Um, to be honest, uh, there's someone I, I follow, like a, a podcast I listen to, and this person always says, basically, you just, uh, sit down, close your eyes, and be distracted, okay? So people think um, when you meditate, you have to be completely clear, you can have no thoughts, but, but really the whole point of meditation is you think, and then you get distracted, and you start thinking about something, and then you say, oh, I'm meditating, and you go back to your breath, or whatever. So um, it's, it's actually not that complicated. It's just hard and boring at the beginning. Um, okay, what podcasts in English can you recommend? Okay, I'm, I'm loving all these questions. I'm really thirsty and I ran out of water. So I'm just gonna grab some more water and I'll be a second. Um, what podcasts in English can I recommend? Honestly, I mainly listen to podcasts about writing in English, so it might not. And these are these are these are um, not for learners, right? For native speakers, okay? Because um, Eduardo asks. So, if you don't write, these might not be very interesting to you. Um, I listen to. My favorite podcast is the Creative Pen podcast. That's really good. Um, the Writer's Well is really good. Uh, the Career Author. So that's more serious for people who want to write as a career. Um, the Story Grid podcast is really good. Uh, those are the main ones I listen. Oh, how do you write? That's another good one. Um, a podcast about language teaching that I really like is um, Tea with BVP and also Talking L2 with BVP. They're basically the same show. Both shows have finished. But um, it's where several professors of language acquisition, so professors in the subject of how we learn languages, they talk about how to teach languages best, okay? So a lot of the theory that I use to uh, understand how to best do the podcast, I get from that podcast, okay? Uh, and I also... There's another podcast I wanted to mention. Um, two podcasts about mythology, because I think mythology is really fun, and obviously I use myths a lot on the podcast. Um, one of them is just called Mythology, and the other one is called Myths and Legends. Okay, so actually these last two might be more interesting for all of you. Oof so much ice cream oh my god <laughs> okay Nguyen asks what's the di what is the difference uh between english and british okay so british refers to the entirety of the uk <clears throat> so england uh scotland wales and uh, and northern ireland uh and english just means from England okay so just so technically the United Kingdom is four countries England Scotland Wales and Northern Ireland okay 
Um, Lucille says uh, Russian is a very complicated language. Yes, I want to learn Russian at some point. Okay, Barbara asks, how often do I make the live streams? At the moment, I'm doing the live streams every, every Saturday at this time, okay? Um, Barbara asks, do I have any videos for English learners? Um, so, I'm planning some videos, but I have not done videos now. I do have uh, written information on how to learn uh, the best. So if you go to Easy Stories in English, you can sign up to the email newsletter. Okay, so uh, do you have tips or advice for English learners? Um, you can get weekly, so every week, advice if you sign up for the email newsletter which is free okay and it's on the website okay so i'll put the link here so if you go on don't make it so small word come on there we go okay so if you go to the website here one language learning tips and more join my email newsletter so you put your email address here and your name you join every friday i email with advice on how to learn English. So that's where you can get my advice, okay? Barbara says, thank you for your enthusiasm. Thank you for giving me my enthusiasm. Okay, um, Eduardo asks, uh, would you like to stop teaching and focus on your career in writing? Ook is going to sign up for the newsletter, fantastic, okay? Um, Yes and no, I would say, Eduardo. I really enjoy teaching, but I don't want to do it full time. Maybe part time, so like part time teaching, part time writing. So I think ideally I would do a bit of teaching and a lot of writing. Whereas at the moment I do a bit of writing and a lot of teaching. Okay? And maybe you are thinking, oh, but you do. Every, an episode every week that's a lot of writing i want to do more i want to write books and i want to do courses and all kinds of things um so kind of i guess both right because if i write books or courses it's writing but it's for all of you as well so i want i, I kind of want a bit of both but i do want uh, eduardo i do want to publish books for native speakers as well at some point Okay, this has gone more than two hours, so I think we will finish here. Thank you so much for coming. This has been really fun. Um, I had a great time, as always. Just a reminder, this document will go into the YouTube video in the description. So come to, my, come to the Easy Stories in English YouTube channel uh, in a few hours. Go on the video and you can find the link to the document, okay, and download it. Thank you all so much for coming, for watching. Thank you for your ideas, your questions, your enthusiasm. I had a lot of fun and there will be another stream next week at the same time. So definitely come to that. Sign up for the email newsletter please consider supporting the Patreon as well uh, if you would like exercises and other things like extra episodes, okay? So thank you so much, everyone. Have a great week. Stay safe, stay inside, and stay creative, okay? And I will see you soon. Bye!